My name is Emily Polanc. I am an LAP teacher at Rhodes Elementary, and I'm here to tell you about an author and writer named Julia Alvarez. She has been influential in my life. She is Dominican American and was born in 1950 and is still writing books today. I first was, was introduced to her work when I was a student in the Dominican Republic at an, at UNFU, which is a university in the capital of Santo Domingo. And I also went to and train a language school. That's me when I was there. And this book was introduced to me by my professor at UNFU. He told me I should read it because it would give me a look into the culture and into the history of the Dominican Republic. It's actually historical fiction. So it is based on um, a period of history, but it is fictionalized to kind of add details and to imagine what some of the people in history were thinking and feeling during this time. This book definitely gave me a window into um, the history and culture of the Dominican Republic. The three sisters that whose stories are told, and actually there's four of them, but for the sake of time, I'll tell you about the three that um, that were kind of the main figures. They were assassinated um, in the Dominican Republic by the government. Um, they were living during the time of Rafael Trujillo, who was a dictator, and he did not like that they were speaking out on the oppression that the people in the Dominican Republic were experiencing. And the three women, Minerva, Patria, and Maria Teresa were all sisters. They were all very brave and they gave their lives for their country. And Julia Alvarez has stated that being a survivor herself of Trujillo's dictatorship placed a responsibility on her to tell the story of these brave young women who did not survive the dictatorship. Julia was born in New York City in 1950, um, but she moved to the DR, to the Dominican Republic, right after she was born, and, or moved back, like her family was from there. And her father was involved in the same political movement and same activism that the Mirabal sisters were involved in. And he was about to be imprisoned for his work, so he decided to move his family back to the U.S., and this was when Julia was around 10 years old. Right after she came back, the Mirabal sisters ended up being assassinated. And that was an important event in Julia's life. It always caused her to reflect on the fact that her family's lives were spared, but theirs were not. And that is one of the reasons, like I mentioned, that she wrote the book. And Julia, when she came to the U.S., um, really struggled and felt very lonely because she had been uprooted from her culture, uprooted from being around uh, the Spanish language all day, and was put into a school system that was very different than what she was accustomed to. Julia says that everything she went through during this time actually helped her to become a better writer because she could take all those feelings and turn inward and write about them. And that's what she did. And that's what she's done throughout her whole life. She's written about the experiences of the multilingual learners. She's written about the experiences of immigrants. And she's written about the experiences of, between, of being and existing in two different worlds, two different cultures, two different languages. In 2013, Julia was awarded the National Medal of the Arts by President Barack Obama. She was given this award because of the important stories that she has told about identity, about families, and about cultures, and about what it means, as I previously mentioned, to navigate new cultures. One of Julia's favorite quotes comes from author Toni Morrison, and it says, the function of freedom is to free someone else. Julia stated that the reason why she loves this quote and the reason why she admires so much of Toni Morrison's work is because it has taught her that when she frees herself by writing about her own experiences of liberation, it gives her the opportunity to give that gift to another person. And it gives them the courage 
to write about themselves and to share who they are and to know that freedom is possible. <laughs>